Hello adventurers, it's Rosalyn and welcome back to another Sunhaven guide. I know you guys have been waiting for me to get some more data out to you for how to make money, how to make coins, how to make mana orbs, how to make tickets in the new update of Sunhaven. We're talking 1.0 and on. I have the calculations ready for you and we're going to go through how to make the best bank in early, mid, and late game just like we have before. So let's go ahead and get started. First up, I wanna talk crops. What are we going to invest in and plant on the farm? So let's start from the very beginning of the game. We're starting with spring, right? We're gonna look at our first row here. This is our early game crops we wanna focus on. Peppers, shimmer root, which is gonna be a little bit more expensive, and peas. Now, peas are a multi-growth crop, which means that you only have to purchase them once and they will produce multiple times during the season. Fantastic for starting out in the springtime. For summer, shimmer root again, peppers again. These are multi-seasonal crops. Durian, which might be a little bit too expensive for you in your first year, honeysuckle, and cotton. Let's move on to fall next. Durian shows up again, honeysuckle, and cotton. Again, a lot of these are multi-seasonal plants and also multi-generational, or they give more than one crop per plant. And then finally, winter, for just starting out, you wanna focus on ghost peppers and snow peas. Snow peas, again, are one of those that gives multiple crops per plant. Now, staying with the crops, let's move to mid-game. Say you've already opened Novari and Withergate, and you're like, okay, what can I add to my farming now? Grapes, that's going to be an any season opportunity all the way across the board from spring until winter. When you get into summertime, you can add melons and then in fall, you can add pumpkins as well. All right, and finally, late game. What if we've got, we've finished the game, we're ready to just make our millions. For a springtime, watermelon, you can only access this after you've completed your first year. Soul orbs, which are available after you have completed the main quest line. Soul orbs are one of those plants that can be planted in any season, so you can do that all the way until winter. And then for winter, we have another we can join in here, and that would be the Pythagorean berry. I also have mana gems here listed as winter time, but they're an any season crop, I believe. You'll just need to have the Nelvari totem or scarecrow to be able to grow them here on the Sunhaven farm. Otherwise, they'll have to be grown in Nelvari. Okay, so that's that's our plants, right? So what about crafting? We're gonna go up here, up to my top here next to our farmer's snackoon. We're gonna start from the beginning again, going from the early game to the late game. Here is your lineup. Okay, starting from this left-hand side, I've got my list, handy dandy list here for you. The basic furniture table, weapons rack. So let's scroll down to that. I will show you exactly which item it is. This one right here, this purple one sells for 800 coins. This is the only item on the basic furniture table that you're gonna need to concern yourself for making coins, okay? One item only. Moving on, cooking pot. We have two here that are going to require some skills from the skill tree, all right? The first one is trail mix. And the second one that you're gonna concern yourself with is the cooled lava honey. So all of those magma bugs that you're farming in the Sun Haven mine are going to be put to use that lava honey it's actually used for something. So make sure to continue to store your monster parts because they can be used in recipes. The juicer. The only one you need to be worried about is the glass of pure water. Save up the water crystals. You'll be needing those for fertilizer and glasses of pure water, okay? Next up, sushi table. The only one that is going to be of attention here is the crab roll. So make sure when you're gaining some more exploration points and when you're fishing, save those crabs. You can use them on the sushi table. What's next? The fish grill. Now, a ton of recipes on this crafting table alone are profitable. So if you're into fishing and you're like, what do I do with all of these fish? There's finally an answer. The fish grill is the answer. I'm going to list off the ones that are most profitable for you in no particular order. So you know which ones are going to be the best bang for your buck. Remember, you can also check the Sunhaven ROI spreadsheet in case you can't remember or wanna check those specific numbers. So here they are, the roasted old boot, Grilled blue tang, those grilled ones are gonna to be towards the middle here. Grilled carp, catfish, crab, and frost fin. And then lastly, the seared acorn anchovy, the one that looks like it's wrapped in tin foil. And last, you see that we've got this one lonely bee box at the end. Invest in flowers, my friend. All of the flowers, remember that I've got a whole guide on how to plant flowers. 
They continue to give. You don't have to water them once the flowers are mature and they continue to pump out honey for you, which is a great seller once you've made the first initial investment. All right, on to mid game. Are you guys ready? So remember, as we progress from early game into late game, you can add these new ones to the existing starter items. So to this first lineup, I would also add my keg and my seed maker. Speaking of the keg, let's see what we're going to be making from the keg. The first thing is going to be appetizing ale, bitter beer, and then the last one is going to be tea. Okay, those are gonna be your three for the keg. And then we're going to move over to the seed maker here, and I've got a list for you in no particular order. Make sure to go check the numbers to determine which one's gonna work best for you. Cranberry seeds, kiwi berry seeds, cotton seeds, lily and lotus seeds, same price, okay, same sell price. Green bean seeds, candy cane seeds, and lavender seeds and sunflower seeds, same price again. The flowers follow a pattern, and there's two per category there that have the same price. End game. We have one more sad little ice cream cart here to add to our lineup. And there's only one item here that I want you guys to focus on. And believe it or not, it's the prehistoric special. You only need ice cream base and stone, which you're going to have a ton of in your late game. So this is going to be an easy way for you, you to use up those bulk amounts of stone that you've got lying around in a million chests. Because I know you've watched my storage video and you have probably a whole chest full of stone. I would not be surprised. <laughs> so remember prehistoric special that's going to be the one that you're going to focus on for the ice cream cart you're probably thinking okay well we haven't touched tickets or mana orbs yet i got you let's talk tickets first withergate crops you want to focus on the demon orb sucker stem snappy plants and the eggplant okay not the purple eggplant that's in sunhaven the one that actually looks like an egg it's the blue egg with the spots on it okay those are great for actually getting a profit of tickets. On the crafting side, here are the four tables that you wanna be concerned with. You can see three of them are from the Monster series and one is actually from Sunhaven. Sneaky, sneaky, okay? From the Monster crafting table, there's actually some crafting tables that will give you a profit. The Monster composter, for example, the sushi table, and the juicer. The monster juicer all of those will give you more tickets when sold for the loom we are focusing on the withergate quilt which is here in the middle right underneath the slime gloves make sure to be picking up all the plastic you see in withergate i know it can be hard to find some items over there but you should be able to pick these up and forage them pretty well. Withergate sushi table. There's only one here that I want you guys to focus on and that's the brain jelly salad. You might not be a big fisherman and this might be one that you just write off your list. No problem, it takes some farming as well so it's a little bit complicated. And then lastly, the advanced furniture table is sitting here and this is something that's going to require mid to late game access. But there's just one item I wanna point out and it sells in tickets friends and they just snuck it in here it's the campfire it sells for 100 tickets again some bulk items that you might have mid or late game you can go ahead and use them up and get a couple extra tickets in your bank all right how about Novari? right let's talk crops first crops all the way first mana gem is going to be one of your best and easiest ways i know that's a late game item dragon fruit cattails and walk choy those are your big other three that do not require quest progress you can buy them straight out of the gate from clement in novari so let's start here down at the bottom with the elven furniture table there's actually a couple options here that i want to bring to your attention and they're part of the leaf kind of set here the elven leaf nightstand and the elven leaf wardrobe along with the plant rack a little bit further down and the mushroom standing lamp are great choices to be able to farm some mana orbs from crafting on the composter you have one item of interest that's going to be the mana fertilizer and you're probably going to be using this for farming so i totally understand if it's not a valid resource for you we'll just go ahead and move on to the loom next we have one thing here and that's going to be the uber socks uber socks so it's going to be your choice for the loom for making more orbs and then lastly we have the elven seed maker and there's only one of note here and that's actually the shawaki mushroom seeds those are going to be a optimal way to bring in some more mana orbs for you there's definitely a lot to consider when you're starting to make your mega farm and find the most efficient ways to make coins tickets and mana orbs but hopefully this is 
gotten you a, a small basis to get started on, make sure to check that ROI spreadsheet. I'll keep it updated for you. And of course, more information about how to strategize. And of course, a complete list of these items are available in my super duper ultimate guide on Patreon. Get out there, make bank and enjoy your adventure.